Then Mr. Our colleague, uh, Mr. Lal Krishna has uh, earlier mentioned. Um, there's a huge potential for uh, the ITITS sector, not only in Mysore but across the country. Today, the Indian market for IT and IT enabled services is expected to cross US dollar 500 billion, that is like uh, half a trillion dollars by the end of this decade. And uh, I believe that year two and year three cities can make a significant contribution to this growth story. Um, Vizag, you know, right now it's still a very humble beginning with around you know, 5,000 crores, which is close to 750 million dollars turnover, and there are about 300 plus companies. And uh, the growing presence of uh, multinational IT and ITS firms in Vizag is uh, definitely emerging as a major uh, IT destination in the country. And uh, I will definitely mention that you know institutions like STPRI, CIRI, ITAC have played a major role. And you can see that uh, the Director General himself, uh, uh, the STPI, uh, likewise I have my colleague here, Sridhar Kosaraju from ITAC and all the senior colleagues from CIRI. And that shows the level of commitment, you know, together as a fraternity we are striving hard to you know, uh, take this forward. And of course, government, you know, the working closely with the, uh, coordinating closely with the successive state and central governments, we have got this far. And uh, today the state government and the industry associations are doing their bit um, to you know, move the ITITS companies to set shop in Vizag and other tier 2 and tier 3 cities in the state as well. Uh, and of course, highlighting their you know, distinct advantages on their core competencies in terms of uh, abundant uh, talent pool. Uh, native uh, IT professionals are willing to relocate to the state right now. I was really delighted to hear from our colleagues at WNS, called Even Conflict, uh, Concentric, uh, TechM, and also they are all very accomplished leaders who are now very open and willing to you know, relocate to places like YSI. And uh, that is because we have a decent uh, you know, social infrastructure. Uh, there are renowned uh, academic and uh, research institutions, including uh, maritime and space research. Uh, there is a well established uh, industrial base, you know, there is a lot of uh, industrial clusters here, uh, long coastline and several ports, uh, and several ports of course, and so on. So, clearly, this has been uh, yielding results for us, and uh, more and more large IT companies are signing up to set up shop uh, in Vizag. Uh, and you may have all heard that uh, recently uh, Infosys is also getting ready to start their operations in Vizag. Uh, WNS, I just was you know, very happy to hear that they are kind of uh, um, growing their operations here, likewise, Conduit and other large uh, IT you know, infra majors. Um, however, you know, it is equally important, it is, I believe, that it is equally important to nurture the startup ecosystem around uh, select themes or thematic uh, base um, based on the inherent advantages of each region. Like, for example, you know, why I have, we have our core competencies or our inherent uh, strengths would be the transport and logistics, uh, health and uh, medtech. Uh, energy and utilities, industry 4.0 cutting across various uh, uh, sectors, uh, smart cities and communities. Vizag has been one of the you know, uh, early cities to have implemented the smart city program here, and it has been a very successful one for that matter. And uh, I'm also very happy, you know, to see Anil, Mr. Anil himself, who heads the AP Innovation Valley, is taking uh, you know, huge uh, efforts in this direction. Uh, very proactive and. Uh, in fact, uh, he was just sharing that he signed up, you know, rather he is kind of uh, has a, a definitive agreement with uh, Microsoft uh, to set up a COE on media, which is like uh, advanced or uh, emerging technology. I'm sure he'll share more details on that very soon. So, a theme based startup, you know, incubation centers help bring together industry, academia, entrepreneurs, and investors, uh, of course, focused on innovation and then rapid uh, scaling to realize a vibrant innovation centric ecosystem that would in turn attract talent and uh, global funding. So resulting in cascading growth across the state. So to begin with, our Sunrise uh, Startup Village and Incubation Hub, uh, and of course the FinTech Valley Vizag initiatives are uh, giving that necessary impetus to the growth of this ecosystem, besides now of course several other incubation centers in uh, leading or uh, renowned education institutions like Andhra University has set up a, a COE lab. Uh, which is really one of its kind in partnership with, uh, I believe, with NASCOM. Uh, likewise, uh, with, at IIM, uh, the new campus is being just inaugurated. I heard that I was reading the papers today that uh, the Prime Minister himself is, uh, will be here on 11th November to inaugurate the new campus of IIM. 
And then there are other uh, incubation centers at IIT, NIT, IIIT, and several of the top notch private universities also. Um, but I still think there's a lot, a lot of um, you know distance to travel uh, as a city or as a state. And uh, we'll take this opportunity to urge the government to address the long pending uh, request uh, from IT fraternity in terms of uh, better aid connectivity to Isaac. Uh, and of course, the bus and metro connectivity, which has been, uh, you know, uh, we've been hearing about it to the ITSC for a long time. Uh, while also, of course, promoting uh, Tirupati in a big way, the alternative destination to Chennai and Bangalore. So, nevertheless, I think we are moving in the right direction, and we will soon touch that billion dollar mark from the 750 million right now, uh, which I believe will be the tipping point you know, for the future growth for the city. And uh, with this immense opportunities in the sector for growth, there are uh, exciting times ahead, and uh, I believe that you know collaborative efforts from all stakeholders will be key to success. Thank you.